Today I'm talking about why you shouldn't make a buying decision based off of a demo that you saw on the internet once. What's up guys, Justin Greenwald here. Welcome to 65 Drums. This is the place to keep on top of all things eDrum related, so consider subscribing if you haven't already. Today I'm talking about demos and all the other places that you'll be looking at to find out if this particular electronic drum set you're searching for is the one to buy in your particular situation. One of the first things that pops up when you search for something like that on YouTube will be product demos from the companies that made the drum set. Yamaha has some guy playing a Yamaha drum set. Alesis has their guy that's trying to convince you to buy the Strike Pro. Roland has their guy trying to convince you to buy the Roland TD50K. So there are videos like that, they blanket YouTube with all of these product demos. So it's an important video to watch just so you can get a general overview of how good that drum set can be in its best version of itself. I, I really like watching those videos. That's the first source of information. The second place you'll find information are from YouTube channels that are actually music stores. Like Sweetwater has one, um, Kraft Music has one, Guitar Center has one. All kinds of music stores have their own YouTube channels now. And the guys that run those channels, uh, I gotta give them props because they are beasts at their job. They are raking in millions of views for these uh, demos that they're doing. And these are basically exactly like the demos that the actual company puts out. There's no negatives that they're presenting to you. Like they're not gonna say, well, the pads feel great, but the module's crap. Or the module's great, but the pads are crap. They're never gonna say that. They're a music store. They live or die based on how many drum sets they can sell. So it's their job to make you wanna buy that drum set. Even if there's the word review, like Roland TD50KV review from Sweetwater, don't look at it as a review. In fact, you need to only look at it as a product demo or an overview. A review is something where someone critiques the good and the bad of a product. And so I don't even think any music store should use the word review in any of their videos unless they'll tell you both sides of the story. Don't trust a review from a music store YouTube channel. I love those YouTube channels, by the way. Sweetwater has incredible videos. Craft Music has incredible videos. Guitar Center has great videos. They're very professionally done. They're very well filmed. And sometimes they even have the product guy from Alesis or Roland or Yamaha that flies in with the drum set. And they sort of treat it like a fake interview. John, I've heard a lot of great chatter about this drum set. I've heard that this is an incredible drum module with amazing innovations. Is that true? Why, yes, Phil, it is true. In fact, this is the best drum module ever created by anyone ever and at the lowest possible price. Honestly, you're just blessed to be sitting in its presence. Again, I love those channels, but they don't provide you much more new information than what a demo would tell you. The next source of information would be electronic drum reviews. These are real reviews, either from like my channel or the channel V Drum Tips or from one-off channels. A one-off channel is basically a guy that's only got three videos on his channel. The first video is a vacation video he took back in 2006. The second video is a skateboarding video he did the other year. And the third video is his review of the Alesis Nitro or the Roland TD1K. These guys give their honest opinions. These are really, really important videos to watch because you got the guy's raw opinion. Hey guys, this is Justin. I, I, wa I wanted to make a review of this drum set I just bought. Um, it's pretty good. Um, it feels good. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it. The speakers aren't up very loud, but uh, yeah, I like the drum set. Uh, the symbol has three zones, bow, uh, bell, uh, bell, and edge. Hi-hat feels pretty good. Um, I've got these headphones, but you can plug it into a sound system if you want to. Um, the drum module, oh, I didn't turn it on. The, the drum module feels pretty good, or it, it sounds pretty good. Um, you can do a lot of things with it. You can tune the drums. Um, you can plug in a cell phone right, 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 right there. And yeah, it, it's a pretty good drum set. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe, comment, see you later. That's how some of those videos go, but they're very useful because you get an honest opinion out of those guys. And you can't say the same for a video from a product demo or from a music store YouTube channel. The next source of information are written reviews from something like Amazon.com, from Sweetwater.com, Guitar Center, Musician's Friend. Those are great websites to find reviews. There are other music websites out there, but they generally don't have as many active reviews on each individual drum set that are sold there. Especially check out Amazon. That's where the lion's share of reviews are. 
not all the people that make reviews on there are as music intelligent as the people on like sweetwater.com, but check all the websites for reviews of the drums that you're looking at. Now don't really pay much attention to the one star reviews or the five star reviews, because honestly those guys, they're usually a little bit too angry about the drum set or a little bit too happy. Pay a lot more attention to the guys that are giving it like two and a half stars and four and a half stars or 4.9 out of five stars because those guys are weighing the pros and cons of that drum set most of the time. They'll talk about the good stuff, they'll talk about the bad stuff, and then they'll give you their final opinion. And on Amazon, they even post a video sometimes in their review. So that's really, really cool, and that's one of the reasons why I like that website. Take every review you see or read with a grain of salt, by the way, including mine. This is just one guy's opinion. Go check other sources to back up or disprove what I've said in any review I do. The last source of information, and one of the best, actually, are the forums. So I'm talking like vdrums.com, Tubox has a forum, Elises has a forum. There are probably like five decent forums out there, but if you only had to go check out one, it would definitely be vdrums.com. Those forums are great sources of information. Those guys on there have been playing eDrums since back in Nam, and they know everything there is to know about eDrums, and they throw around a lot of technical terms. And, and unless you have some working level knowledge of eDrums, it can be intimidating. Because you know, those guys know a lot more than you, and probably a lot more than me. There are tons of guys out there that can just run circles around me with their knowledge of electronic drums. They are great sources of information. Just type out a question, or do a Google search of a question, and odds are someone, somewhere, has already answered your question, and there was a whole discussion about it that lasted five pages. So let's go back to demos, and the premise of this video. The reason why I don't really trust demos is because they make things look too good to be true. This has happened to so many drummers where they thought they were buying like the greatest thing since Swiss cheese. And then they buy it and then they get it in the mail and it's nowhere near as cool as it looked. They can make a mediocre drum set look absolutely incredible. There have been so many guys that have accidentally bought a bad drum set just because the video was incredible. There was fog, there was, there was really dramatic lighting, there was an incredible drummer playing the drum set. Some of the guys they hire to do these promo videos are incredible. Remember when Johnny Rab was the guy for Roland for a couple of years? He was doing the videos on the Roland TD20 SX and the Roland TD1K and stuff like that. He was doing killer drum solos on those drum sets. That guy could sell me a drum set made out of water balloons and trash can lids. Go check him out on YouTube. He has incredible solos. You can just sit down and watch him for hours. And then sometimes you'll see a product hype man that just isn't good at drums. Like they can't play on time and you're like, why did they hire you to demo this drum set? You'll get either one. But sometimes if the video is shot well, the drummer is really good, it can convince you to buy a drum set that is not the best in price range. That's why you need to do more research. And also, since there are tons and tons of demos that are basically the same information over and over again, you're, you're watching the same guy explain the same drum set over and over again, you can trick yourself into thinking that you've done the research. So you'll say to yourself, okay, so I've probably watched at least an hour or two of footage of this drum set. I have a pretty good idea what it's like. I've seen the official demo. I've seen the Sweetwater demo. I've seen the Kraft Music demo. I've seen the Full Compass demo. I've read the spec sheet on the website. I've spent hours searching all over the place on this drum set. I think I have a good idea what I'm getting. But this entire time, you've just been watching product demos. And, that, and that's why I say go and look at like Amazon reviews, go check out video reviews if you can find them. Edrums are not as well covered as they should be, especially since there's only two eDrum channels on the internet right now. We can't cover every drum set made by everybody. You can't just take me as your only source for electronic drums. You'll have to go to all those other channels just of some guy who bought it and wanted to make a video on it. There will be a point where you're gonna reach decision-making fatigue, and this is where you gotta avoid. So if you've got the money and you're ready to make a purchase, there's gonna be a time when you've already taken in all the information and you just need to cut it off and make a decision. This happens all the time where you're searching and searching and reading reviews and watching reviews and you finally are ready to buy a drum set and then a different drum set that you didn't wanna buy but there's a sale on it now or a new drum set showed up on eBay, it's like half the price of what it used to be and it's cheaper than the one you were looking at and so all of a sudden you gotta go research that drum set. You reach this sort of just circle 
that you just keep going round and round. Should I buy this drum set? Should I buy that drum set? Stuck in a circle of indecisiveness and you can't figure out what drum set to buy. Just put your foot in the ground because you'll never know everything about everything. Even me, I've made it my business to try to learn everything there is to know about electronic drums. And I don't know half of what I hope to know one day. Like there's so much, there's so many products from so many different companies. So be sure to get an adequate amount of research and then make a purchase decision. But don't be the guy that just watches a product demo and just runs off to a store and buys it and then later comes and emails me and says, Justin, I bought this terrible drum set. I wish I had read a review on it because it was awful and now I've got to go buy another drum set and I've wasted all this money. Those guys email me or comment to me regularly. So do the research, don't overdo it and make your buying purchase. Hope this video helped you out. I'm making three videos a week right now about electronic drums. Consider subscribing and pressing that bell icon if you haven't already. And I hope you all have a great day. See you in a few.